I want to share with you a little drill I gave to one of my online lessons recently that just made the golf swing so simple for them. Getting bogged down in too many ideas, not letting the club swing how you want to, this is going to be a way for you to get your mind clear and get back on track. So let's take a look at it right now. So the lesson that I'm referring to, we were getting basically too upright in this chap swing and he had too many ideas and watched too many things and wasn't really just letting the golf club swing and letting his arm movement and his body rotation work. There was a lot of steep picking up of the golf swing, then trying to really change direction, then movements through and wasn't really you know a good looking golf swing at the start but with this real simple drill and simple tip and a feeling that especially when i do it here at the range and give it to people it's almost a bit of a light bulb moment the the light bulb comes on and thinks well it can't be that can't be that easy surely but what we need to think about is every golf club in your bag sits at a certain angle and it's designed to swing around your body at said angle. So when you address that club, ideally if we were robots when we see that iron byron where the club gets strapped in and it works up and down on a perfect plane, that's the angle that that club should be swinging on. Now obviously we're all humans and we're not going to be able to do that and we can get in our own way just like this chat was by not moving the arms how we should do and honestly this is just it's easy to do all you need to do to get the feeling of letting the club actually swing and I heard my dad say this recently when I was on a on a call with him and Danny Maud we don't want to force the swing we want to swing the force and what we mean by that is this big lump of metal there we're not trying to force it at the golf ball i want this just to start swinging i don't want to try and put too much effort into it obviously there is some effort but i want it to actually just flow and go through and what we need to do if you take your normal grip whether you're an overlap or an interlock or whatever it may be if we take it we then stand the appropriate width apart where my feet now are about shoulder width apart here and then all I'm going to do is place the club out in front of me when you do do this make sure there's nothing behind you as well that you're going to smash into but all we're going to start to do is actually just move the club in a big circle around our body like so I'm just going to let it swing here and I'm not really putting in too much effort too much force as I'm going through and notice as I do this my feet my lead foot to my trail foot are both coming up onto the tiptoes. My torso is really starting to open up and rotate. And more importantly, look what is happening at the back point of the backswing here. My trail elbow is sat below my lead elbow here. So this is the position I get to. Then as I come through and start to move the club forwards, look what's now happening. The club face is starting to square up. Then as I move on forwards into the follow through, my trail arm is now on top of my lead arm. My wrists as well, as I'm working it back, I'm starting to hinge them to let the club go back. What I'm not doing is what this chap was doing here, getting really vertical and letting my arms separate and have no rotation and let the club head swing is this. Doesn't quite look the same, does it? We can see now that that trail elbow is coming away from my body. Not much happening with the wrists here. And if I was doing this on the way through, you would think that is a pretty strange looking motion. But if I start to let this club head actually just swing around my body, let my arms fold, I can even start to actually add a bit of speed into it there. And I feel this folding actually still happening just at a quicker rate but still at the same time of the golf swing the same point what you can then do to build it on obviously i don't stand up like this when i'm hitting a golf shot i take my golfing posture where i bend from my hips i have a little bit of flex in my knees and my arms are hanging but all i want to start doing then is the same motion letting my body turn Letting this trail elbow get below the lead elbow here. As I come back, I'm unwinding my torso in the correct manner. Letting the club face square up and then stand into my finish position. A great way to actually build down to it was if we were to start off a T-peg and I've got my seven iron out here. 
but I'm going to start off on my driver T-peg here. So as I put it down, it's obviously quite a little bit above there as we're going through. So I would raise the club up like we see here. And then the feeling now is that I'm just going to get used to picking it off and clipping it away with that swing. Once I've got used to being a little bit above, that's going to stop me from the pick up, hitting down motion and getting this big separation of the arms. What it allows me to do is start sweeping the golf ball off. So I would have a few off the driver and then I would progress into something where I've gone from this high here to start off with, going all the way down to a smaller T-peg, but again, just feeling the same motion. And I'm just letting that club start to swing. I'm not forcing the swing, I'm swinging the force. And then once I've got used to it, I'm taking my normal posture and all I'm doing is letting that club swing around me. I think a great person to have as your swing sort of model is you're thinking about it, Angel Jimenez, Miguel Angel Jimenez. We all might know him, the Spanish golfer, big curly ginger, um, bunch of hair, big cigar, red wine we always see him with. All his practice swings are made at about this height, at belt level. And he feels his body open up and he swings it off. And then when he comes to hit it, he takes his golfing posture like so. And from there then, just clips it off nice and easy and a real simple drill. If you are getting stuck and a little bit bogged down with ideas that you have maybe seen on the golf swing and you think, oh, is it this, is it that? get it all out of your head, get simplified, and get the club actually swinging. Like I said earlier, swing the force, don't force the swing, and you should start to see that you get a nice little rhythm going on. Guys, super easy lesson that this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button as well. Do hit the subscribe button for me down below. I want you to get better at golf. I'm gonna do that by joining me here every week for your free lesson. Thanks for watching, swing that force.